everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm doing more of like an old school youtube kind of video this is actually one of the videos that i used to do in my old channel so i'm just bringing it back here today i'm going to be doing an october favorites and i'll just be sharing with you guys the things i've been loving during this past month of october so yeah, if you would just want to skip to a certain part of the video, you can go ahead and do so. I will have the timestamps in the description and in the comments below, so you guys can just like skip around the video if you want. First thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is my food favorites. The first thing that I have is the Kewpie like sesame or roasted sesame dressing. I just wanted to try it out because I just saw this in the fridge and I'm like, this looks yummy. <laughs> So I made myself a like simple salad and I just added this dressing on it and it just was really really nice. I really liked it, but if you're not a fan of sesame, maybe you will not like this. The next thing that I have here is sriracha. I've been loving sriracha in my sandwiches recently. I'm not the biggest fan of sriracha because I am just not a big spicy food lover. I just I can't handle spice really well and sriracha is like a little bit much for me, but I really like it in my sandwiches especially in my like egg sandwiches it's like a fried egg sandwich so and then lastly is tofu bibimbap I've been making myself some bibimbap recently because it's actually pretty easy to make you just need to chop up some veggies I normally just use carrots and cucumber if I were to add more veggies I would also add like bean sprouts or something I just have that put it on a bowl of rice and add the fried tofu in it and then add gochujang and then just like mix it stir it up and then there you go it's really really good really yummy and then i also sometimes eat it with lettuce if i really want some more veggies so yeah it's just nice to have something different to eat because i am the type of person that will just eat the same thing over and over again especially if it's something that i already know how to make and i already know that i like it i just make the same things so this is just something nice and new and different for my normal regular menu i guess Okay, the next category that I have here is products. So I have some skincare, hair care, and makeup to share with you guys. I'm going to start off with skincare. And I feel like these two have really helped with my like skin texture. Because every time when I wash my face, I've just noticed that my skin feels a lot more smoother and I feel like it's because of these products. But also recently, my acne has like calmed down. Like I don't have a lot of active acne at the moment. Uh, I do have one right here and that's just because it is that time of the month for me right now so I broke out but yeah I've just been noticing that my acne is not that active I guess these two products like I've said they've helped with my skin texture making it feel more smoother the first product here that I have is the Hyalur Derma formulated hyaluronic soap free skin cleanser it is also sulfate free CDEA free which I don't know what that means a paraben free and also fragrance free it says it's ideal for all skin types and all ages and i actually just bought this because i was watching a jan angelo video he's one of my favorite like skincare youtubers and he also mentioned in that video that people with like dry skin and people with oily skin like this cleanser so i just was intrigued and i wanted to try it out for myself and see if my skin will like it and i just really like this cleanser because when i wash it off my skin feels like it's still moisturized and like hydrated most of the cleansers that i've used in the past they all left my skin feeling dry like they've just sucked out all the oils off my skin and this doesn't feel like that it's really nice and then the next skincare product that i have here this is from causerx this is their aha bha clarifying treatment toner i bought this because my previous exfoliating toner has like expired already so i was just trying to find some new ones to try out so i saw this one and i wanted to try it out because it is from causerx and Causer X is a pretty popular Korean skincare brand and I really like it and because this is like an exfoliating toner I only use this twice a week and also compared to the previous exfoliating toner that I had this one's a lot less harsh so yeah this is just what I use to exfoliate my skin I don't really like using physical exfoliators and stuff and then for hair care I only have one thing to show you guys this is the Morocco hair essential oil this is from Leiku Leiku I just bought this either last year or like two years ago. I don't remember when I bought this. I haven't really been using it. And since I've been using this, I've just noticed that my hair feels a lot softer after using this. And it also gets rid of the tangles off my 
hair, which is really nice. And the next is makeup. The first thing that I have here is from Squad Cosmetics. This is their soft matte lipstick in the shade Stand Out. And this is what I'm currently wearing right now on my lips. And it's just really nice to use. It's very soft. It's creamy. It's also very pigmented. I've just been using this up so that I can buy more lipsticks because I just, I love lipsticks. This is like the only like makeup product that I wear on a daily basis. And then lastly for makeup, this is from Vice Cosmetics. This is their Gun Doll Volumizing Brow Gel in the shade Natural Brown. I'm not really a makeup person. I don't really wear makeup aside from lipstick, but I've just been trying to use up some of the makeup products that I have just to use them up and so they're also just not like sitting there. This one's just something that I've been using a lot because it's super easy to use. It doesn't take much time and also it's not a hassle. You just open this, put it on your brows, and then you're good to go. And then lastly for products, I have this new phone tripod that I'm using right now. I recently bought this during the 1010 sale. I've been meaning to get a new tripod, but I just haven't bought one just because I don't know. So I've just been using like my stack of books over there and I've just been like hauling it over here. So yeah, I'm just, I'm happy to have this new phone tripod to make filming a lot more easier and less of a hassle because I don't have to haul that stack of books. Another thing that I like about it is that it does have a remote. So taking like photos and like selfies and stuff have been like super fun for me. Okay, and then for the last category, I have media, and then I've divided these into three subcategories. So I have YouTubers, podcasts, and TV shows slash anime. So I'm gonna go through the YouTubers first. First YouTuber that I wanna share with you guys is Alex Bondock. She is a YouTuber from the US, and she makes like uni vlogs and like productive week in a life type of videos. She basically just films like her entire week and then compiles them into one video and I just think they're super entertaining, just fun to watch and also just comforting to watch as well. I really really like her channel and her videos. I've been subscribed to her for almost a year now I believe and yeah I just I love watching her videos. The next YouTuber that I have is Christiane Jones. She is also a vlogger kind of but she's more of a booktuber so if you're looking for a new booktuber to watch definitely check out Christy. I really really like her videos. They're just super aesthetic and comforting. Like her videos look super cozy and comfy and warm. It's just super nice to watch. It's also very cinematic as well. It's just it looks super super nice and I also just like the content that she makes. So again if you're also a fan of like books and stuff and like that kind of genre of content of YouTube, definitely check out Christy. And then the next YouTube channel that I want to recommend you guys is Drawfee. So they are a drawing slash art channel and I've just, I love their channel. I love watching the art that they make and I also just love their banter. That's one of the main things that I really like from their videos. They're just so funny. Feel free to check them out. Again, they're super, super funny. I love their humor and their banter and their art. They're just... It's like a nice mix of everything. And then for podcasts, I only have one podcast on here and it is Voice Hugs with uh, Rowena and Vivian. Rowena does have a YouTube channel as well and I also do like her videos, but I really, really like this podcast that she has with her friend Vivian. It's just super nice to listen to and you also learn a lot from the conversations that they have like i really do just like take away a lot of stuff from whatever they say and they also just gave me like different perspectives on things and yeah i just really appreciate that a lot and then lastly is for tv shows and anime so the first one that i have here is grim my sisters and i have been re-watching this show and we're currently on season two right now and it's just one of our favorite shows so yeah if you're into fantasy mixed with like, I don't know, like CSI or something, you'll love this show. Okay, and then lastly, I have an anime to share with you guys and it is Spy Family. I'm so happy that they're back with part two. I've been waiting, I've just been waiting for this to come out and I was so excited to find out that Bump of Chicken was singing the theme song, I believe. And Bump of Chicken is just like one of my favorite Japanese bands, so that made me like super happy. I love this show so much, and this is just super cute. I love the characters, the story is just so, 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 so good. That is it for this favorites video. This was so fun to make. I enjoy making these videos, and I missed making these videos actually. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment whatever you want to comment and I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye.